Hey, get this. Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett, and Bill Gates together own more wealth than half of America. That's right. They own more wealth than the half of Americans that are at the bottom half of the total wealth in the United States. That's according to a new set of research papers or one new research paper and website by the Institute of Policy Studies as reported by Forbes, focusing on the Forbes 400. Now, 25 billionaires in America, 25 combined, are worth $1 trillion. And that is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's, that's unfathomable. When I was coming up, I was born in 62, no one ever heard of a billionaire. In fact, the term billionaire, from my recollection, my personal recollection, didn't really come to fore until the 80s and then more often in the 90s. And then it wasn't until the advent of, well, the impact of venture capitalists and the full flowering of what became of their investments in such companies as PayPal. In fact, a lot of what we call billionaires today really came from the movement of us to the web, where it was possible to get $4 million just for a concept at one point. This was true during the early 2000s and the late 1990s, the very late 1990s and have, that, have enough money to build that into a something. First of all, to employ people, establish office space, and build product and attract users, and hopefully have that user base turn into enough money to sustain you beyond the initial investment from your venture capitalist or venture capitalists. That was the idea. Now, everyone, it seems, who's getting out of college is trying to start their own startup and get VC money to get that big chunk that they can ride a wave on for some period of time and then grow from there if they're lucky. But there's still only a handful of people. And for the bottom half, a lot of them don't understand how to make money through the right web, build businesses, let alone navigate getting a job in an environment where resumes are simply read by algorithms and not by people. It's bad stuff we've got going here. How to fix it? One way that we need to implement right now is what I call, first of all, the guaranteed minimum standard of income, and then to fuel that, a national sales tax, a value-added tax. Some people estimate that the value-added tax would generate $184 billion a year for the United States. We could use part of that money to fill in the gaps for those at the bottom between what they're making and what they need to make to have a livable place in the United States. Some area, some home, some dwelling, they not, not only call their own, but also live in comfortably and gainfully. How many people can do that is lessening year by year, slowly but surely. We can't get to a point where we have just a handful of people, a, a, a small number of people the size of a major league baseball team. That's right. That own a trillion dollars of wealth. That's right now. Suppose, what, what, Suppose that grows into an even smaller number. Does this mean that at some point we get to the first trillionaire? That means that all the rest of us are screwed? It sure looks that way. We have to begin to understand the need for the poorest of us to be richer than they are. We are only as strong as our weakest link. If we keep making more and more and more weak links, we as a nation will be weaker and weaker and weaker.